Good evening, good afternoon. This is Keisha Naima Robertson, uh, alumni of the University of Maryland College Park. Um, today I will be performing a piece entitled Uncommon Overcomers. And this is a piece that I originally drafted. My people are diverse, tall and short, thick and thin, healed and broken. We are a contrast of light, dark, and everything in between. We are born to shine, though our glow is sometimes hidden in that which we would rather forget. God blankets us with omnipresent vision, seeing our past as problematic to our present only when we do not repent in alignment with the forgiveness that has already been bestowed from heavenly places through mercy, grace, and anticipatory atonement. We are a grateful people who dance in the sand of deserts with feet unburned by its heat. Adversity can be a vast wilderness whose boundaries can begin and end in a number of places, but particularly those known as Satan's playground. So we mustn't sit idle as we are children of the I am believers who do not falter permanently to the paths of sin and its foreboded detriment. We get up and figure out how to be still while standing on the word of God and moving forward without apology. We do not give up no matter how long we've been backsliding because Satan's backbiting is not a temptation, but a challenge to do better. Overcoming that which is meant to break our spirits, yet we use it to build the muscles of our back when pressed against the walls of modern day Jerichos made of bricks graffiti with the likes of self-hate, microaggressions, profiling by race and the killing that occurs because of it. In our carnal capacity, we find our strength inadequate. But with God, all things are possible especially with what seems to be the strangely odd fight of prophets like Joshua disguised as leaders like Ella Baker, Nina Simone, Martin Luther King, and El Haj Malik Shabazz. We are loved. We are worthy. We are a glorious reflection of all that is righteous, all that is righteous, and all that is fruitful in the eyes of the one who does not despise brokenness nor disdain need, the open-armed divine parent to the prodigal children born of scripture, living through sin and striving for redemption. We are the realization of their demonstration of calculated madness and enrage with the system that had to be broken in order to break souls out of the habit of breaking spirits to still confidence. To make comfortable those uncomfortable with prodigies of supernatural origin. Our worldview and paradigms must be more inclusive of the many faces that grow out of the shape-shifting spirit endowed to us by a limitless God who shifts shapes to form in seven shifts a world shaped to yield practice and reconciliation through multiple incarnations. A supreme being who relishes in seeing us emulate that which man could not take credit for because the syllabus and coursework is inscribed in astrological braille and cannot be seen except by a third eye heightened by metaphysical fingers that turn pages back and forward through the historical lineage that start and end with the alpha and omega in unison as the Armageddon of then becomes the genesis of now and that is the power that makes a renaissance of innocence. In this postmodern Garden of Eden, Eden, in this time, the serpent will be tamed during the first couple's morning yoga session with the yogi Christ growing from a seed beneath the earth that is, that is tilled and respected daily so as to prevent bloodshed, bad fruit, and subsequent trees without figs. There can be a more amenable way to restoration, and that is why we grow uncommonly whole with each leap of quantum faith into a space beyond the certain pain we've known. As a people, we are gifted, bold, beautiful, and abundantly filled with melanin and the sunshine that cannot be covered by clouds or completely destroyed in storms. We are uncommon overcomers. Thank you.